So my wallet was uh, a little heavy and couldn't shut it and I decided that once again it's time for one of those lessons in freedom is the distance between church and state. So what we've got here, if I can fit it all in the shot here, is 1905 dollars worth of blasphemy all right um, I actually have had most of this in my wallet for about a week now and it's not a very uh, cool reason the reason why I have all this in my wallet it's uh I went to a storage auction because I saw one of those uh, storage auction storage war shows on TV and got that bug and you know me and a couple friends went out to go to the uh, storage auctions and I got there with a bunch of money in my wa wallet and found out that I'm a little bit more stingy than I thought I was I ended up buying a unit for $75 and that unit had a couch that I turned around for $100 so I got my money back as far as uh, the value of the storage unit but also in that unit there was a, a Stinnett piano uh, piano was only worth about $400 um, but I noticed that all of the other people there were kind of afraid to touch a piano because they uh, I guess they realized how heavy pianos were and that was an experience but anyways I ended up giving the piano to my niece because she's taking piano lessons and uh, it's a nice piano. It might show up in one of my videos later. So this In God We Rust campaign, where we mark out the T in In God We Trust and turn it into In God We Rust, um, this was a campaign by Ichiro Cannot Die, uh, Ichiro Sakamori, and... Uh, you can check out his channel to see that I am probably now the leader in uh, amount of money marked just as I have been last year and when I do this sometimes people ask me like uh, don't you think this is childish I bet you want uh, under God out of the Pledge of Allegiance and and yeah and, and you want God off of everything and you don't want uh, the Supreme Court to have like the Ten Commandments on the wall and all that stuff and to that I will say uh, yeah I even go a little bit further than that um, I don't like invocations um, in any government capacity. I mean, as an atheist, when I was in the army, I had to stand at attention or at ease in the heat while so many chaplains, they just, uh, they're so long-winded, you know, with their invocations. Um, it's not like they don't even care that you're burning up. Uh, but yeah, uh, prayers before... Uh, a session of Congress or uh, a court opens or anything like that uh, I am opposed to um, so yeah it goes uh, way farther than just this stuff uh, my positions on all of this um, so on with the 20s we've already done the two fives and two tens that I had
it's a bit of a stretch to get across all these 20s, so bear with me here. I'm almost uh, kind of afraid to even carry this much money around with me, you know, in some of the seedier parts of town. I mean, there was a storage locker that I went to, or sorry, a, a whole storage facility that I went to uh, last week, and it had needles on the ground outside the unit and you know as we're bidding I'm looking down at my feet thinking wow I almost stepped on that thing it's worse than almost stepping in dog poop is thinking that you almost stepped on a needle that could have gone through your shoe and you know you don't want kids around that especially so No place to go for the timid. All right. Here's... All right. Now for the fun one. The uh, stripper bait run. And this week... Wow, this is a stretch. This week... The stripper bait run goes to Rand Campbell. Let's see, we're gonna dedicate it to now. Randy, he uh, made a video to me where he stripped open his uh, shirt and uh, put some cheap cologne on. Uh, by the way, I, I don't wear cologne, but uh, I prefer the scent of navy for men. If you're going to be wearing cologne. Uh, cologne makes me sneeze. I don't know. I'm not really allergic to it. It's just, you know, people wear too much of it all the time. And some of you probably thought that this stripper bait run should be uh, dedicated to Bionic Dance because... Uh, she made a video to me, and, you know, you guys are biased towards, uh, the females. But, I tell you what, uh, she only showed a little bit of shoulder, and she shows everyone's shoulder, you know, when she makes response videos to them. She's kind of like a, a shoulder slut. Or I guess a shoulder whore, because she's getting paid to show shoulder from her ad revenue but I'm not gonna shame her for it you know that would be wrong I'm just saying she doesn't win that's not shaming that's just not winning so Randy enjoy you had a $25 stripper bait run dedicated to you also, I just wanted to point out two other things that I had in my wallet. Um, another cost I'm going to incur for this uh, weird hobby that I just got into is, uh, and, I'm, and I'm holding my finger over uh, dock dropping myself, but uh, this is the temporary registration for my trailer for going to these storage auction things. Because um, I, I needed a trailer for all sorts of stuff, like the... Uh, the uh, St. Patrick's Day Parade, where it was used as a float and all that. This is uh, something that I gotta get done by the end of next month. I gotta get actual registration for it. But uh, the real most valuable thing in my wallet right now is right here. This is a ticket to Dr. Neil deGrasse Tyson presenting Past, present, future, in space. Now, what's what's unique about this is this ticket went on sale in February, right? It's for April 17th, right? That's where I'm going to be. 
So within 24 hours, every ticket was sold out. And while certain groups of people were kind of, you know, trying to think if they wanted to uh, buy a block of tickets or not, all of the tickets that were available online to the general public, if you weren't a student, were bought up. And I'm not sure how much this ticket is actually worth, because, you know, there probably are going to be scalpers in the run-up to the event, you know, the week before they might post the tickets online. But I'm not even sure that they were, like, speculating. I think that the demand might be just that great for Neil deGrasse Tyson. So, um, my friends Nick and Heather, they had an extra ticket, and um, I needed a ticket because I waited too long. I was going to buy a block of tickets for uh, me and a couple friends, you know, and I was thinking about buying uh, an even larger block of tickets, maybe for uh, a larger group. But while I was thinking, they sold out. And this ticket right here, this this shows that uh, all this crap, this is uh, nothing compared to having uh, a richness in friends. Okay? Friends that will... Uh, look to you first when they have an extra ticket so um yeah <sighs> this this stays in my wallet it goes with me wherever i go until this event this is gold to me